Hello and welcome to 50 days of Keynote, 50 things you can create for the classroom. Today is day one. We're going to show you how to create great presentations using this versatile iPad app. First of all, what are great presentations? If you're teaching this in the classroom, it's of course important students understand what they should do and what they should not do. Here are eight points that I've summarized for you. What I usually do as an activity is I have the students create a bad version of the presentation and a good version of the presentation where they can really make it really clear what rules they have to um, adhere to. Here's a sample of something that one of my students has done. On the left you can see bad and on the right you can see a really good interpretation of this topic. When creating a presentation, you can start from scratch with a template, um, with a blank template, or you can use uh, one that is suggested for you. Um, I usually build mine on my own, so here I can show you an example of a presentation on motivation where I use a navy blue background and white large fonts in the Luna font to craft my message. I often use the moderation notes where you can see my script in the notes so I don't have to pack what I want to say onto the slide and I try to really use really cool icons just to bring my point across and not to overload my slides or anything. At the very end um, I have included one uh, transition which is the magic move transition which gives you the feeling of morphing and I morph the word from moot into motivation. So of course, creating uh, presentations in Keynote is uh, really simple. You click on the plus button, add your elements, you can add text, you can add images, you can format your text, you can even save the formatting style of your text by clicking on update. You can balance your elements on the page, add slides by either adding them through the, di through the dialog box or you can duplicate them, which is what I usually do because I build as I go. When I'm creating a template for students, I usually create media placeholders to guide them and I instruct them that they should close their presentation by including a credits on author page. And there you have it. That's it. Hopefully you will enjoy these series of videos, which you can all find here and the keynote files are here.